Welcome to NewsChannel5.com. I'm meteorologist Leland Statham. After the morning fog, we're looking for good weather this afternoon. Now, I do want to turn your attention to set up for tomorrow. Severe weather threat on the way as we head toward a Wednesday night. The better dynamics with this system are going to be back out to the west of us. But as we head into tomorrow evening, through early Thursday, you'll notice how this kind of fades off and not much showing up over the eastern counties. So the threat's a little greater here, but even greater where you saw that orange a bit earlier. For us, straight line winds, the primary concern through here won't rule out an isolated tornado, but right now it looks like that line weakens as it rolls through the area and especially pushing into East Tennessee. But for today, things look good for you this afternoon. Sunshine around the Mid-South. For tonight, we'll go with the partly cloudy sky. Could be a fog by daybreak tomorrow morning in Franklin today. They've got Veterans Day Parade, so you're looking good. The Nashville Parade just after as always, just after 11 a.m. So looks good there. A bit breezy tomorrow afternoon, but here we go 430. So activities by day for Veterans Day tomorrow looks good. Now, as we head toward tomorrow night, here comes the rain threat. Uh, while I won't rule out an out shower early prior to sun uh, sunset through here, you'll note exact track not really doing anything until late tomorrow night and early on Thursday. So see the leading edge of that with that and even a few isolated cells that develop ahead of that. One or two of those could be on the strong side. Again, straight line wind damage won't rule out an isolated tornado, but then notice how that kind of weakens a bit as it works its way over in the East Tennessee on Thursday. So what about rainfall amounts? Again, we're looking good around the area today, but as we head toward tomorrow night and on Thursday, then the threat for those showers beginning to pick up across Middle Tennessee in southern Kentucky. And so a lot of you will see some of those rain showers roll in again by nightfall tomorrow. And then as we work our way through early on Thursday, there are the amounts for us out there. Here's how Real Sky plays things out for you today. Uh, looking good mid 60s this afternoon with a wind northwest at around five miles per hour. Your seven day 71 tomorrow, 63 on Thursday, 58 for Friday and then 55 on Saturday, our weather artist today, Takia Smith, I believe it's Takia, it could be Takaya, but I'll say Takia Smith from uh, Robert Churchwell Museum Magnet School over on the north side of town. And we'll see video from there in a second. But first up, our school of the day, William Burris Elementary in Hendersonville, Hayden, a fifth grader. Kalissa is a third grader. Let me show you our... <laughs> School video. There we go. There's some happy students there. And again, these students are at Robert Churchwell Museum Magnet Elementary School over in North Nashville. Went there yesterday to talk to them about the weather and about what we do in the Storm 5 HD Weather Center. And they had lots of good questions for me. So I appreciate that. That video is also now going to be on our uh, my Facebook page at NC5 underscore Leland Statham, but a lot of folks know uh, the, the history of that name, Robert Churchwell. He was the uh, first uh, black uh, journalist for a mainstream paper in Nashville, and I think one of the first black mainstream journalists to uh, work for a major newspaper in the Southeast, and a uh, longtime resident over there. His uh, sons, a couple of his sons are in medicine, but his son was over there yesterday as well, so always good to see him, and I always send a shout out to his, uh, his mama, uh, Mr. Churchwell's wife. So all of you over at Robert Churchwell. We appreciate you for stopping by. Make it a fantastic day.